Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have an easy and delicious side dish recipe for you guys. And I'll be making my oven roasted baby potatoes with thyme, garlic and parsley. These are so easy to make, so delicious and the perfect side to just about any meat entree. Beef, lamb, pork, chicken, seafood, you name it, these potatoes are just the perfect complement. And I enjoy these year round but especially during the summer months when I have a lot of grilled or roasted meats. I love, love to enjoy these with a little bit of salad on the side as well. Today I'm going to be Join them with my garlic and herb roasted rack of lamb. I have that recipe coming up later this week on Friday, so stay tuned. Meanwhile, you can head on down the video description box for all the ingredients. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this easy potato dish. I have my oven preheating to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, I'm going to get started on the baby potato. So today I'm preparing two pounds of these. You can use this recipe for one pound, for five pounds. It's super easy to adjust up and down depending on how much potatoes you need. And the first thing I'm going to do is slice the potatoes in half or even into quarters. And that way we're gonna have more surface area for those herbs and spices to stick onto. And these larger potatoes I'm going to cut into wedges and then drop them into a large bowl. And the smaller potatoes I like to just cut in half. And to my sliced and quartered potatoes, I'm going to be adding a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil. I love the flavor that butter adds, so I'm going to be adding about two and a half to three tablespoons of melted butter. Just pour that over the top, and I'm going to add about the same amount of olive oil. And this is really going to help all those herbs and spices stick to the potatoes. Drizzle in some olive oil. And I'm going to season the potatoes generously with some sea salt flakes. You can also use regular salt for this recipe some ground black pepper. Next I'll add in one tablespoon of parsley and a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder and one tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves. And then I'll use my spatula to toss this all together. I want to make sure that all those potatoes are really well coated. And what I love about this recipe is its versatility. You can season these baby potatoes with just about anything. One of my other favorites to add is smoked paprika and you can add things like basil, oregano, rosemary. You can even pair it with your main entree. So for example, if I'm making my lemon and herb cedar plank salmon, I also like to sprinkle on a little bit of fresh dill on top of the potatoes once they're done. So you can really play around with the recipe and make it your own. And I'm going to transfer my seasoned potatoes onto a baking dish lined with parchment paper. You can also use a silicone mat and then spread these potatoes evenly. And I like to use some small tongs and turn the potatoes with the inside or the cut side facing upwards. And that way when we put the potatoes under the broiler, that inside, that is going to be just so perfect. It's going to be golden brown and delicious. And I'm going to cover my potatoes with a large sheet of foil. And the foil is going to help cook the potatoes faster by trapping the heat and moisture on the inside. I'm going to bake my potatoes covered with foil for about 18 to 20 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender. Then I'm going to take off the foil and turn on my broiler to the low setting. Let the potatoes broil for about 7 to 9, even 10 minutes until they're golden brown on top. And these potatoes are straight out of the oven. You can still hear them sizzling away. Just going to give them another toss. And if you want, you could actually toss these potatoes and then put them back under the broiler for a couple more minutes so until they get really nice and crispy. But I think these are perfect for me. And I have my potatoes out of the oven. I'm going to garnish them with some fresh parsley over the top. You can also add some fresh thyme. And this is optional, but my husband loves Parmesan cheese, so I have some grated Parmesan cheese. We could sprinkle some of that over the top as well. These are gonna be so, so good. And that's it for my oven roasted baby potatoes. I love how easy this recipe is to put together. And these potatoes are so aromatic and incredibly delicious. They are going to pair perfectly with my roasted rack of lamb later today. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down the video description box. I'll have all the ingredients and the recipe link down in the box as well. Meanwhile, let's give these a taste test. And I love adding a little bit of that Parmesan cheese at the end. It's optional, but I think it adds a little something extra. Oh, these look so, so good. 
Perfection. These baby potatoes are so incredibly tender on the inside and they have that golden crispy outside. So, so delicious. Mm-hmm. These roasted potatoes are amazing, hands down, the best type of potato side dish. So much flavor going on here. I love the simple seasoning with the parsley, the thyme, and the garlic. Add in a little bit of that Parmesan cheese with it and also adds a little bit of saltiness and just makes them that much better. You guys are going to love these with any type of roasted or grilled meats or seafood. So, so incredibly delicious. And when I'm making this side dish at home for like a dinner that I'm posting, I always like to make a little bit extra because people go crazy for these potatoes. They are always the first thing to go off of the dinner table. So much flavor and they pair so well with just about anything. So next time you are looking for an incredible potato side dish, give these roasted baby potatoes a try. I guarantee you they are going to be a hit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe at home. Don't forget to head on down the video description box for the recipe link and I'll see you next time with my roasted rack of lamb recipe.